You can see here that I am a buyer logged into my procurement system, in this case, Hoopa, and I'm on the home page. Here on the right, I can see all of the showcased punch-out suppliers. These icons are my punch-out vendors, suppliers that I can connect to directly from Coupa. Today, I'm going to buy an espresso machine for our company break room from Alpine Group. I simply click the Alpine Group punch-out link and TradeCentric automatically credentials me into the storefront of my supplier. From there, I simply shop and build a cart as I would with any online storefront. Once my cart is built, you can see that the checkout process initiates a cart transfer instead of entering payment and shipping information. By clicking Transfer Items, I am prompting TradeCentric to transmit all of the cart details and seamlessly redirect the buyer back to their e-procurement system. The automatic cart transfer allows the buyer to complete the approval and purchase order process without requiring the shopper to manually enter the order details on their end while still aligning with the organization's purchasing policies. As you can see, the cart data has been transferred back to the procurement system. I'm ready to send this requisition through my company's internal approval process and create a purchase order. Now that it is approved, you can see that the requisition has become a purchase order and has been ordered. If I check my orders list, I can see that it has been sent via CXML. Next, let's see that order in Salesforce Commerce. TradeCentric enables the electronic transmission of the PO from Coupa to Salesforce. Here you can see the PO has successfully been sent back to the supplier's Salesforce instance for processing and fulfillment. In the details area, I can view the buyer account particulars as well as order specifics such as item, shipping, billing, currency, and date details. TradeCentric can then receive and deliver the invoice back to Coupa to complete the transaction lifecycle.